welcome to the start, okay, and I open access 2016, I have it load, I have the database, so once you click on it, then it's going to give you, give the name for the database, you have to enter what's the name you want to use for the database, so I want to call it Sono Sets. 2019 that's the name of the database and where is it going to save my database i can change the directory i come into this location change the directory that means where i want to keep it where i want to save it if it's online then that should be my hosting i'm going to change the directory to desktop and just click ok you see the extension has been changed to dots acc.db so that is access db access database so once i'm done with that i'm going to click on create this is the is the environment for the database so first first thing we are going to have the we are going to have the table we are going to work on the table i'm going to click on name and caption so this id and the same thing as this ID here, so I'm going to change it. Okay, I can change this to student ID or student school number, student number. Okay, whenever you are writing this, always good for you not to put space. Okay, it's always good for you not to put space. So now the caption, and that's what is going to show. I just put students at this place. I can student matric number, matric number. So, right. Okay. Description. I can just put description. The student's ID. Very simple. Okay. I click OK. So, see, it has changed it here. Have you seen it? So, access, just like a Excel, the table has been drawn. So, I can just come into this view. So ask me to save the table. Say student, student file data. That's what I want to keep here. On that table. So once I click OK, so it's going to change, and it's going to change it. Now you see it has changed. I have the design format. Then I have, I have. This is entry point, and this we click on this view, and it's a design view. If I click here, this is. This is an uh, entry point. That's where we, we will be entering the data. Okay, just like we are putting it on the Excel. Okay, and this is my table. This is where all the list of table I have. This is where they are going to be. All the list of table I have. This is where they are going to be. So I can go back to my design view. Okay, right. I have my feed name. I have the data type, I have the description. So description, just like a guide, is not compulsory. Then I have the feed property, feed property, just like a security. I have the feed name, the data type, and the description, which is optional. You may not put anything there, and you can still put something there. And I have the properties. So for each of the rule, okay, I have different different properties. We have the feed size, we have the new values, we have the format, caption, index, test align, okay, based on what I have. So as I input the feed name, I'll be choosing the data type, I'll be entering the description, then by the same time, I uh, will be putting, I will be putting the, uh, putting the, the property for each feed. Just like uh, uh, the Chukuma asked me to repeat myself, just come, once you open your access, the first page you will see, whatever the first page you see, okay, to where you can just create your first page. So once you create it, so you have the view, so you are going to have this. We have two types, four things we want to do on access. Are you with me? Four things we want to do on access. Mm -hmm. Number one, four objects. Let's not beat for our own. Actually, it's supposed to be seven. Four. The first thing is table. When we have our table, which all our data will be submitted to, 
Then the second thing is to have our form. Form is entry point. You can enter, enter data through the form or through the table. But it's always good to enter through the form so that this form is friendly. And number three is query, asking computer questions, okay? From all what you have submitted, just only one, a computer is going to bring it out for us. Then the last one, which is number four, is to report, report of summary of what you have done so far, okay? So now I can switch in between, I can switch in between, this is the one you are viewing now is entry points directly from the table. Then the second one is I've switched. You see where I switch on my left hand side. I've switched to um, I've switched to design design view. Okay, so there are so now on my first row I have the student's number is auto increase so that means that it's going to be increased generated by self one two three four okay now i can have the feed properties i can have longer long integer so that means that i have one number to be long or replication id or increment, I want this to be increased. I want randomly, I don't want randomly, caption student matric number. So that's what it's going to show. Index is very, 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 very compulsory. And you see it's yes and no duplicate. So I don't want two numbers, okay? Now, if I don't want this to be auto number, I can change it, okay? I can change this to short test. Okay, just like your matric number now, I want to make it real, so I can change this to short test. Okay, from the short test, the, your numbers is 2017, 2019, 2114. If I want to use that format, okay, 2019, that should be eight. That should be eight, eight digits. Okay, so I can just put eight digits on that place. I don't need formats, I don't need the fourth value, I don't need it. All this validation, I don't need to require. It's very, 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 very compulsory. I make it, I am trying to make it compulsory as required. So if you don't feel it, so duplicate, no duplicates. That means that it must be only one person. You get it, okay? The port rule, I don't want to put the port rule for now. Okay, I will tell you when to use the fourth rule. So now another thing is I'm going to have is this. I have to have surname, surname. And the surname should be short test. So I'm just saying the name of the parent or the father's name. I was just say father's name, father's, father's name. Okay, and I want to think with my reasoning, I want to say that father's name should be more than 25. If you have, if, just, if your father's name is more than 25, I mean, in character, you count it one, including space, including IV, your father's name should be no more than 20, 25. So I'm just using that, okay? I have the father's name, I have your first name and the last name, let's just put other's name. Other, other name, other name, other name. I can just say short test also. The father's name, the other name. Enter your other, other names. Okay. I can just say I can put dates of birth, dates of birth. Okay. Now this time around for the dates of birth. I'm going to say it's not going to be short test. I'm going to put date time. I'm going to put date time. Short test, date time. Short test, date time. Okay, at this place, I can just say format and have a format for that. Okay, the format is I want this to be like a median date. Median date. That is month first, day first, 
months and year. So uh, the inputs, I want the inputs to be, okay, I want inputs, I want computer to give me the inputs. So I just click here and click on the small arrow beside it. So I must save first. So once I save, I'll save just like you press Ctrl S. So I have the date, I'm going to put the medium and say next next and finish so it's going to insert code okay i don't have the defaults i don't have the rule i want date of birth i want this to be compulsory we don't enter the date of birth i don't want you. so it's compulsory you can submit without not putting the date of birth that's what i put yes okay now i can say oh what another thing date of birth please kindly enter kindly enter the date of parts okay so i can say what next do i need from that feed name this date i can say feed name i need i know what is feed name i need i need feed name what line is i need sex okay i can say sex also short test okay i can say enter M for male and F for female. So I'm going to choose my feed properties because I want them to enter only one C, only one alphabet. I'm going to put one. Okay. Then the fourth one, the validation rule is I want them to enter either F or M. So I'm going to put M. Okay, and I'm going to quote it. I'm going to put it in a quotation, double quotation, M or F. Okay, I have said yeah, another feed name is sex, right? And the, I'm choosing the short test. Short test simply means like just like I posted it through the WhatsApp, it allows us to type any number from any number, character, anything from one to two, five, five. You get it. Now, from my feed properties, the only alphabet I want people to enter is just one alphabet. One. I have M or F. Now, this is where I'm going to validate it. That is M. I have put M or F. I quote it. M or F. If anybody enter, if anybody did not enter male or female, on the validation test, I will just put what is going to pop up. I will just say, please enter the correct value. That is M or F. Then let me save it. Let's quickly see it. Let's come back to view. Can you see it? I have it here. Can you see it now? Okay. Now, if I just press son name, okay, I have son name. Who's online? Yes, I, have, sir. I have son name. Okay, let me just use somebody's name. Let me use you. Okay. Let me use uh, Akintola, right? I'm not going to put yes, the name. Akintola. Akintola, I just enter Akintola. I press tabs, go to the next one. Ask me for other name. What? This is too Yes, sir. Me. Then, uh, January, and uh, let's say, 19, 2020. Okay, let's just use that. White tab. Now, sex. Let me put J and see what happened. Can you see? It, it, it won't okay. take say please enter the correct value that is m let me put double number it doesn't even take it it doesn't even take anything are you seeing it but if i put m small m it's not even going, going to take it please enter the correct value okay i have to put capital f okay now say you must enter a value for this okay because i 
change this from auto number. So that is going to be 2020, 2019, what's your number? number? 1470. 1470. Now, if I want to add more, can you see it doesn't take because I've said it's supposed to be eight digits. It's One, two, three, four, five, okay. six, seven, eight. Okay, that's what we call the validation. One, two, three. So we do each of the feed. We are um, putting information there, call it feed. Okay, feed name. Okay. Mm -hmm it name okay. so can you see so now it's moving to the next one so we start putting putting okay. putting putting like that okay let me just stop here maybe when we have the opportunity in the next class we now fill it for those that are online and we fill up to four or five we now generate form okay we can generate form like that and generate form. Okay. I will tell you maybe the next class. I will show you how to generate form. Okay. okay. Generate form. I will now use form to fill the rest. I will move to the quality.